The example I'm about to give on alpha lipoic acid actually explains a lot about um, the fact that we don't know very much about supplements and how they interact with different molecules in our body and so this is why I'm especially concerned about um, naturopathic doctors or holistic doctors or health coaches or nutritionists or anyone who's out there um, prescribing dozen plus supplements for someone who's chronically ill because there are obviously a lot of toxins in that person's body and the interaction with some of these supplements is not the intended outcome. So let me tell you about the alpha lipoic acid and then we will, from there, um, you'll have a better understanding of maybe whether you should keep taking alpha lipoic acid or if you should take it in a different way. So first of all, the thing to know about alpha lipoic acid is that it is an antioxidant. It's in a lot of multivitamins and supplements, and it's also a chelator, which it binds to heavy metals. It binds to mercury in particular. So it's a magnet with mercury, basically. And the last thing you need to know is that it crosses the blood-brain barrier. Um, one more thing, actually. It breaks down, it has a half-life of three to four hours in the body. So that means that half of the amount that you take will be broken down and disintegrated within three to four hours of taking it. So all of these things combined means one very, very, very important thing. Alpha lipoic acid, if you have amalgam, mercury amalgams in your mouth, or you ever did, or you have any kind of mercury toxicity from any kind of environmental pollution or product pollution or food pollution, then if you take alpha lipoic acid, it's going to start detoxifying mercury from your body. Now, the problem with this, you might think, oh, that's great. The problem is that when it gets into your body, it will cross the blood-brain barrier and it will buy into metals in the brain. Now, what happens when three hours later, that half of that alpha lipoic acid that you took starts to disintegrate. It drops the mercury where it is. It's no longer strong enough to hold, to have that magnet, magnetic hold on the mercury. Um, and it hasn't gotten to the kidneys yet for excretion. So it's somewhere in the bloodstream and your body is now dealing with mercury in the bloodstream again that is not bound to a chelator. Uh, this is called redistribution and it's very damaging and it's very painful. It can cause fatigue and rash and inflammation and brain fog and more free radical damage all over your body wherever the mercury is. I actually feel like I'm talking about some science fiction situation going on here, but um, basically the important thing to know is that even though alpha lipoic acid is a strong antioxidant and it's a chelator for heavy metals, especially mercury, which sounds like a good thing, it's actually not a good thing if you're not taking the supplement correctly. In order to benefit from alpha lipoic acid without the damage, you have to take it around the clock to keep the blood levels high. And that's what prevents redistribution and that's what keeps the mercury bound and coming out of the body and excreted through the kidneys. Now, a lot of people aren't in a place where they want to be taking a supplement every three to four hours, especially waking themselves up at night, and a lot of people aren't even strong enough at that point. They're still very tired or fatigued and they need to work on things like diet and, um, and other detox before they get to the heavy metals. So. My point here is, first of all, this is a really complex topic, and I don't know if you followed everything I just said, but um, alpha lipoic acid is a very healing molecule, but it can be very damaging in our current world where there's a lot of mercury toxicity and where it's not applied properly. So what you'll see is doctors doing um, urine challenge testing for heavy metals, and they'll give you 100 milligrams of ALA or DMSA or some other chelator and then they don't give you any more and so your body pulls all this or the chelator pulls all this mercury or all this lead out into the bloodstream and then within three to four hours half of that chelator has disintegrated. It drops the mercury, the lead, whatever it is, right where it is in the blood and your body has to deal with redistribution. It's very damaging and I've actually had this this experience and it put me flat on the couch for about a month. Um, I remember trying to get upstairs and I was grabbing a hold of the railing just pulling myself up trying to figure out what was going on. 
um, and did some research and found out about this um, this situation with the half-life being three to four hours of these chelators. And alpha lipoic acid is one of them that a lot of people are taking and I've seen people start taking alpha lipoic acid in their supplements or their multivitamins and they get up to as high of doses as 800 or 1200 milligrams. One of my clients actually was just talking to me about how he's taking it for um, brain health but in fact he may actually be doing more damage and he's taking 1200 milligrams a day. Um, people have reported getting a burning a burning brain sensation, serious headaches, fatigue, serious rashes, um, and all, so all sorts of hormone imbalance because these metals, they block hormone receptors on your cells. So when you're having redistribution, then the mercury or the lead goes and blocks these hormone receptors on your cells in different areas. Um, before it was all stored away and, you know, hi hidden away that your body, your body put it away so it wasn't doing damage, and now you're pulling it out and stirring up all this mercury when you take alpha lipoic acid. So um, that is a very good reason why you should reconsider the way you're taking alpha lipoic acid and whether it's the right thing for you right now. Um, now if you are intrigued by the idea of it chelating mercury and you want to look more into that, there is a book called Amalgam Illness by Dr. Andrew Cutler and there's also a Yahoo group that discusses the chelation method that I that I touched on, frequent low dose chelation is the name of the Yahoo group. So anyways, that was a long explanation and I hope that it translated to you okay. Um, if you have more questions, follow the link below to the blog post, leave a comment, I'll try to clear up questions and refer you guys out to different resources. But just in a nutshell, that is why I uh, am hesitant to take supplements um, nowadays just because uh, we don't know what they're really doing and I only take a supplement if it's a single supplement in or a single ingredient or one or two ingredients in one and I notice a direct immediate benefit within a week or two and if it's organic and also um, if I've done the research obviously and I don't mix them all I don't take more than one or two or three supplements at all at a time I try to get all my nutrition through my food. I eat extremely nutrient-dense foods, and I get a lot of minerals and vitamins and antioxidants that way. So um, that's my approach. Uh, I hope that this helped those of you who are taking ALA and kind of um, taking a lot, especially. It's just something that you need to look out for, and I don't want you guys to hurt yourself further. So anyways, um, I hope that helps. Keep taking back your health. You will get there. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Take care.